Okay, so recording now. Okay, so um, I was asked to sort of reflect on, I'm going to also talk, I wasn't asked about addiction, but conf you know, the attraction to conflict and drama and, uh, and social media. Uh, and I'm going to put in their addiction. So, you know, one, one of my favorite uh, teachers is uh, Dr. David R. Hawkins, and I also love the 12 steps, uh, 12 step fellowships. Um, and I think they give me a, a framework of, um, of what is my spiritual condition at the moment. You know, Hawkins, I love Hawkins uh, framework. So if I'm at a, a low level of consciousness, like fear, if I'm, my predominant background thing is fear, I will have a perception of the world which tends to ha be fear-based. You know, all my thinking and my, uh, and my experience of whatever it is that I experience in the world throughout the day, any thoughts I get will have a, a fear-based tinge to them. And the underlying deeper feeling, and many feelings can be there, is, is fear. So, um, and, oh, addiction, addiction, which is a special level of consciousness, uh, which is the craving for something outside of myself um, to, to somehow bring relief to my uh, spiritual disconnection. So that's what I'd call it. And that's what I call a significant level of spiritual disconnection. So I can be obsessed with anything, but if it's something that's getting life-threatening, like uh, I mean, my donut addiction and buffet restaurant, uh, going for oblivion and not wanting to live, eating suicidally. That was a bit more than just a mild donut every now and then. But, uh, but when it gets to the addictive thing, one starts to become obsessive about something in the world being, uh, being the fix. You know, if I could only get that. Um, now, there are various levels. I think 12-step fellowships talk about one of the worst levels, which is life-threatening, which is addiction. Extreme obsession for something outside of myself to give me relief. Um, and that can be things like donuts. There are, there are fellowships for like, uh, uh, I'm joking a bit, but for donut addiction and uh, for alcohol addiction, drug addiction, relationship addiction as well, um, sex and love, sex addiction, um, uh, relationship addiction. Um, so putting people on pedestals. Um, all kinds of things. And the 12 Step Fellowship has, has a fellowship which will help you. I'm doing an advert for 12 Step Fellowships, but never mind. Um, and uh, will help you let go of something that's life threatening and that obsessive. When you get to, if you've got mild spiritual, um, what am I talking? So I'm getting, I'm working towards social media. Okay. So um, now if someone is, you know, um, if someone was addicted to social media, uh, they would give up on life and be in a social media <laughs> platform <laughs> like, like there's quite a few famous ones better not mention names um non-stop probably forget to eat and uh, get very fearful at the idea of their social media connection being broken or their phone or computer because their source of the source of life in addiction is seen as something outside oneself and one gets very fearful or anxious or craving if one has missed that thing, you know, it becomes life-threatening. And uh, in the realms of addiction, they will go to any lengths to make sure they get the thing they think they need to feel okay. All right, so, but let's go on to social media. I mean, if someone's got, if it's life-threatening, then I would suggest joining a 12-step group or a Course in Miracles group. No, not life-threatening, a 12-step group first, you know, you get a mentor, they're a sponsor. Um, now, if it's a moderate thing, um, Again, you know, what is the emotion that is changed by? Let, let me give you an example of social media at the level of addiction. You know, this person's life's falling apart. You know, their finances are falling apart. Their health is falling apart. Uh, they get very anxious and fearful and go through almost like a withdrawal feeling if they're not on social media. So that would be life-threatening social media addiction. That, you know, if you're just feeling mildly fearful and anxious because, um, let's say, uh, your Facebook account, I shouldn't really mention names, but anyway, your Facebook has suddenly, um, you got an error on it and you can't log in to your, you forgot your password. And then you're sort of sweating and, um, and you're ringing up, you know, um, support saying, I can't get onto my Facebook thing. Uh, if that's my, if you're feeling fearful about it, you might be resonating at fear and your perception is very fearful. 
because something in the world is not going um, according to plan or something projected with value. You know, what the ego projects with value in the world is given meaning or specialness or high power status or whatever you want to call it, whatever the ego projects. And that's usually a stem of a belief system or a uh, or a belief. It could be a core belief or it could be a collection of sub beliefs that one has been programmed with from childhood, parents telling you blah, blah, or it can be um, um, a belief. You know, you read a self-help book and uh, and then you, you've got a, you've got a program for a belief of something and it becomes um, so anyway, those things mildly fearful. If it's just a moderate thing, what about just um, a mild desire, which seems to be a little bit much for social media and and the drama and conflict, you know, social media, maybe politics, uh, social media, maybe um, it could be politics, you know, oh, I love social, the, my favorite type of social media is a good debate. Let me get in there and put my post in and uh, tell them that that political party is totally wrong. You know, my political party is the best and best for the country. It could be social media. Uh, it could be, that could be social media. I'm not a big social media person, but I'm trying to guess some stuff. And it can be other things, especially things that bring up thinking and wanting to be right especially um, and where you you're you're almost in you know one of the things is being on a crusade to let other people know what they should be doing I mean let's say for example I, I have one political party I think is the right party for the next election and I go on and I know there's people in this Facebook group that might be swayed if I have a good enough argument you know and I'll, I'll get a little endorphin hit when I when someone says I used to be with that party I'm now with this party so that kind of thing and wanting to go in there and make you know and that can be a thing of like the drama either the drama can be exciting can be like a film or it can be um, a debate a juicy debate drama drama type films you know romance films um, war film it depends you know females might like a romance film a guy might like alien bashing war films it just depends so. Um, but if it's moderate, it's not too bad. And you're probably just mildly anxious if you can't do it. And if you're in great spiritual condition around social media and drama, even if you had like, um, um, even if you had um, a month off all your social media, you wouldn't break a sweat and you'd feel spiritually connected. Um, if, you, if you're quite spiritually aware and you notice that something is increasing in you, like um, you, you wanted to go out for a day, but then you were like spending an hour making sure your mobile phone has got three social media things on it. I'd be start to be getting suspicious that it's starting to get too unhealthy. So uh, and that works. In the course of miracles, pray for a miracle to see it differently, feel the feelings out of feeling withdrawal if you don't do that thing. And, uh, uh, or, or, you know, pray, you know, use the course, or you can use a 12 step program, read the big book and, place social media or uh, uh, enjoying uh, drama uh, and just read the big book or you can do the Course of Miracles with that and substitute, especially the lesson section. That would be quite a great idea. Okay, I'm just going to quickly stop on that and go into the quickly